Anonymous, synonymous, the savers of Metropolis We fighting for the people and we ain't with all the politics They say we ain't a threat but show the FBI's tracking us Fighting big brother so the media's attacking us Ain't going nowhere cause we comfortable, no backing out We hearing justice like a crazy chick, we blacking out Voice to the voiceless, hope for the hopeless Our word is our bond, if you know us, you know this Activists supporting an idea gone global Organized chaos cause our spirit is immobile The truth shines right through all the lies that they telling My retweet is stronger than a hundred people yelling Divided by zero and united as one Loans at the cop trying to make ideas run Silly rabbit, maybe you should just Google God Fox We a legion, we do more than just Occupy blocks Everyone's anonymous and we are all a legion We fighting for the people but they acting like it's treason The media is feeding people lies and deceit If you really want the truth, Google us and take a seat We police the internet and try to stay fair We look out for the kids and the dogs cause we care We help stop SOPA, we working on CISPA You don't understand unless you is a Part of the chaos that's aimed at the wrong I had to take a second and just put it in a song Too many people sleeping and it's time to be awake People shouldn't fear the government, that's a mistake so fuck Uncle Sam, Big Brother, and whoever Will sacrifice the people for that 1% cheddar Better watch what you do, cause we don't forgive We are rebels with a cause for as long as we live هذينا هذا قبر الصليب فكوا فيه ايوه كسره بالجنبه See, Becky, Becky, you had to fucking, well, I don't know why you did that. I mean, I did, really didn't even say anything. I didn't even get the fucking point. You should have fucking known that I had a point. I'm going to tell you what I told I'm going to tell everyone what I told you. Putting a fucking wedding ring on that finger is satanic ritual. Getting married is not satanic. Putting a fucking gold band around that finger is. The word ring is first found in Genesis, where Pharaoh took his off and put it on Joseph's hand. This was not a wedding. The ring was used as a symbol of power and authority. But notice it is upon the hand of an idolatrous pagan ruler. Ancient idols wear jewelry. Some would say God approves of idols wearing jewelry. In Exodus 32-34, Aaron made a golden calf from the ornaments of jewelry given to him by the Israelites. In Exodus 33, 5, God told them, Shove it. If a person has never heard God tell them to strip their jewelry off, they have not heard from God on the issue. God cannot be contradictory. He will not require of one what he does not require of all. 
There's no scripture where God ever told the Israelites they could put jewelry back on. If God said it, if God said to take it off and gave no authorization to put it back on, then these ornaments of jewelry are forever to remain off the body of God's chosen people in case you morons haven't realized he wears a fucking robe. You don't see Jesus going around all blinged out and shit, do ya? He was a peasant. He was a carpenter. And he was a dangerous man. And so am I. Like Bill Cooper said. This country was founded by dangerous men. And the minute they stopped being dangerous, that's it. Oh boy. One of the sins of King Saul was he allowed the women to put back on ornaments. The next mention of these ornaments is in Isaiah, where God strips Israel again. But this time, will send them into captivity into the land of the pagans whom they lusted after. What happens when a person rejects the ways of God? They end up in captive among the unsaved heathens and there with their ornaments. They forget God until the day of their calamity. Then, to get God's attention, they will strip off the ornaments of bravery, put on a sackcloth, and begin to wail like the fucking lion scum that they are. There is no wedding ring in the Old Testament. In Jeremiah, the daughters of Israel decked themselves again with ornaments of gold, painted their faces, made themselves beautiful, blah blah blah, which you guys do every fucking day. The wedding ring comes from paganism. It cannot be found in the Old or New Testaments. There was no practice among early Christians to wear finger rings as a sign of marriage or engagement. Pope Gregory I in 860 AD decreed that as required statement of nuptial intent, the groom to be had to give his intended engagement ring. He further decreed the ring be of gold to signify financial sacrifice. The first diamond engagement ring is the one given by King Maximilian. Wedding rings can be traced to idols and heathen religions. I think that's about all I need to say. Fuck you too, Becky. President Obama said he has ordered a full investigation into the weekend shootings in Afghanistan. Saying he met yesterday with top generals and ambassador Afghanistan, Obama said the United States takes the shooting as, quote, as seriously as if this was our own citizens and our own children who were murdered. What a bunch of crap, as seriously. If you want to start an investigation, why don't we start an investigation, El Presidente, of who started this bogus war? You want to do an investigation, let's do an investigation of Bush and Cheney and all of them Congress people out there that voted for this war. You want to do an investigation, Obama? Here's an investigation for you. And even you don't have to look back that far. How about investigating when you, El Presidente Los Estados Unidos, who could do anything he wants at any time, including starting wars with Libya, taking like pe people like me to get their blo brains blown out, why don't you... Go back to when you sent 100,000 more troops there to Afghanistan with your troop surge and all the people, all those Afghans that were killed since you started that. You want a full investigation? How about a full investigation of people like uh, General Petraeus 
Oh, and another guy, Stanley McChrystal. Right. Oh, Stanley McChrystal Meth. That was it, I think. You know, he said, as goes Kandahar, so goes Afghanistan, with the troop surge that he was pushing for. Now, don't blame these guys for going off to, over the deep end. The full investigation start at the top. You guys are always looking for the poor guy down the bottom to lay your blame on. You want a full investigation? Let's have it. Let's have a full investigation. And while you're at it, how about a war crimes tribunal? Yeah, let's really make this a full investigation. Oh, and throw that other one in there, too. You know, the Iraq one. You remember, they had weapons of mass destruction and ties to Al-Qaeda. How about a full investigation? Stop blaming these troops. These troops are treated like crap. And that's a fact. Every guy I talk to that served is really angry. I have friends in the Vietnam War. I know guys that served in Iraq. Oh, they tell me about the generals that used to go to Iraq. These low ranking generals that would spend a required amount of time over there so they could pick up their $50,000, no tax added, for going into combat zone. You want a full investigation? Let's have one. This is Gerald Salenti, and that's just some of today's trends in the news.